Hey, what is up guys? It is Rohan Press Gaming R, and today I am bringing you my first ever Skyrim playthrough. Episode 1, playthrough 1. And I have a couple topics I want to talk about today. So the first thing is, well yes, I decided I'm going to be doing commentary over these. But something I just like to mention, um, important dialogue or like dialogue in which you go into that cutscene mode. Not really a cutscene, but when you, um, okay, any sort of dialogue, I will not commentate over because I know how annoying that can be when the viewer actually wants to hear the dialogue because the story in Skyrim for all the quests, main storyline, any part of Skyrim, the dialogue is amazing and it's a great game. Okay, so next topic. What type of commentary would you like me to do? Now, I, there's two types. I can I can do it as if I was uh, commentating over like a, I don't know like a Modern Warfare Three online match, in which I would just talk about stories about my life. But you know, I don't really have anything going on, so that is probably not the most interesting thing. What I'm thinking, you know, about doing and leaning towards is just talking about the game, what's going on, giving you guys tips. And whatnot because I can I think I can safely say that I after playing this game for a while I have become you know decent at it good maybe you know then again I'm not playing on master difficulty I am playing on adept which is out of five the third one the middle middle difficulty but I can still say I have a strong understanding of the Elder Scrolls games so I can be giving you guys tips on certain things um, related to Number one, Elder Scrolls, and then number two, obviously, uh, Skyrim in, par in particular. Um, so the time I'm doing this commentary is November 29th. However, I have beaten the main quest storyline a couple days ago. And I haven't been able to upload any videos. Because, well, let's see, I got the game November 23rd, and I overplayed it, overplayed the, you know, the crap out of such a good game because I don't really see how you can overplay it I mean like an hour turns into two hours turns into three hours it's just it's, it's very it's very addicting so yes uh, I have 70 or so videos at the moment to upload and all of them are around the length of this video 14 to 15 14 to 16 minutes long so, and I'm going to be doing commentary for all of them, except over the dialogue. So that's around 10 minutes, mostly, for each video of commentary. Or even up to 15 minutes if there's no dialogue in a video. Plus uploading times, 45 to 1 hour. I have a lot of work to do. On top of that, school and everything, it's, it's very tough to get these videos out to you guys. Um, the best thing I can do is over the weekends when I have three, I can upload three to five videos a day. Anyway, here's going to be a, a quick scene. I know you guys, have, most of you have already seen this. this is just the intro. Um, when you are riding in the carriage to your execution, like most Elder, all Elder Scrolls games start, some point of crime. Anyway, I'll just go to cut off here. I'm just going to cut off here and let you guys listen to the dialogue. Or you can uh, skip ahead. Is this, isn't the most interesting part or you can enjoy the graphics, whatever, so, yes. Hey, you, you're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? You walked right into that Imperial ambush, same as us, and that thief over there. Damn you Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. If they hadn't been looking for you, you could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there. You and me. We shouldn't be here. It's these Stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in binds now, thief. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the Rebellion. But if they've captured you... Oh, gods. Where are they taking us? I 
don't know where we're going. But Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey, what village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be of home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. Sure. Mara, Debella, Kinnereth, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. Look at him. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. I wonder if Vilod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Funny. When I was a boy, Imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Who are they, Daddy? Where are they going? We need to go inside the little cup. Why? I want to watch the soldiers. Inside the house. Now. Okay, so as I believe uh, I have some time here, the previous point I was making was that you can enjoy the graphics, and that's one thing about this game. The graphics are so intense. This game, as well as Modern Warfare 3, I hate to say, but the graphics are pretty good, and the graphics are so intense that occasionally my PS3 will freeze. Now, this has only happened two times out of the 70 videos. But I hope it doesn't happen any more happen any more times because I don't want to get, you know, the yellow light of death or anything. And anyway, I'm just going to let you guys hear this part right here. So as you can see, I have 11 seconds of a screen fail, which I'll just commentate over. Otherwise, you can skip ahead. Um, the old, I mean, the, old, the way I fix this, just hit the home button and exit out and it just unfroze. And anyway, you guys can listen to the dialogue. Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Raylof of Riverwood. Lokir of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel! You can't do this! Halt! You're not gonna kill me! Archers! Anyone else feel like running? Wait. You there. Step forward. Who are you? Okay, so I'm just writing down some quick notes of what I'm going to say here so I don't lose any of uh, my train of thought as that seems to happen. But one thing I want to talk about was that guy getting shot. So, I believe that was a, a thief from Rorikstead. And it's not really important anyway, but um... As I've heard, uh, he can get killed in different ways. Um, you know, I do believe that sometimes, you know, it's not really important in any way, but like... Damn phone. Ugh. That the soldiers sometimes run after him and, you know, hack him down. Most of the time as far as... Oh my god. Most of the time, as far as I can tell, it's just the archers who take him out. Anyway, so now we're doing some character creation, and as of course, of course, um, I choose a Nord because the special power is very good. You know, causes your enemies to run away, giving you some free hits for thirty or thirty seconds to a minute. I can't really remember. And on top of that, Skyrim is very Nord-based. First of all, you know, Skyrim is the land of the Nords. And the main quest storyline, along with, you know, the other quests, are pretty much intended for you to either be an Imperial or a Nord. Yes, you can be a high, high Elf, and, you know, there is the High Elf cult called the Thalmor Embassy, which we'll learn about later. But you can't really, you don't really have the option to join those things, um, which is a slight disadvantage for the other races, but then again, it's just a game, so you can choose whatever you want to be. Right now, I'm making my... My buff Nord guy, tan, you know. Oh uh, yeah, well, okay, so 
that was, okay, that brought me to my next topic. Hair models in Skyrim. So yeah, that, this is the one part of the graphics that, you, that I just don't really like too much is the hair, the uh, head hair. It just looks kind of like it was made in an old, uh, you know, uh, what's that word? Old uh, game creation engine. Because there are uh, some games out there which have better hair models, but you know, who cares? The rest of the game is so graphically intense and so good that, oh wow, you know, the hair, the hair is not even important. Okay, next, next topic. Subtitles. So yes, I will turn on subtitles. I do believe I either do it in this video or the next video because if I, as, like, as I occasionally commentate over a little bit of dialogue, I still want you guys to have the opportunity to read it because it is very, very interesting and it, um, you know, Bethesda did a great job with the storyline and the other non-essential quests, non-main quest uh, dialogue is very well done. So let's see what else. The length of this game. So long. It's unbelievable. If you don't, you know, cheat or glitch or anything, as we all know, there's tons of Skyrim glitches out there. And if you don't, if you're on the PC and you don't use, like, the, the cheats for the console commands, and for glitches, I mean like level leveling glitches, because obviously we know there are so many, so many um, skills you can train in this game. <sighs> One sec. Yeah, so many skills you can train in this game. However, people have come up with so many different glitches that you can do to get those skills to a hundred very fast. A hundred being the maximum level you can have in a skill. And um, there's also many money glitches. I've seen soul gem glitches. Um, obviously, plain just plain old Skyrim glitches like getting a giant stuck behind the ledge. If you don't do these things and just play the game completely fairly, just level up, take your time. I can honestly say it's over 300 hours, which is if you don't know, a lot. 300 hours in a game. That's that that is quite impressive. Just taking into consideration the Modern Warfare 3 campaign took me four hours and twenty minutes to complete. That's the duration of the playlist, and I still haven't uploaded the credits yet. Sorry about that. You know what? I probably won't actually end up doing it. I ended up losing the video somehow. Maybe I'll go back, play the last mission, and record the credits again. But I couldn't really be bothered. If you really want to look up the credits, just look up the credits on YouTube. Uh, the reason is just because of the music. Anyway, we're not here to talk about Modern Warfare 3. What am I doing? I wanted to talk about this part in the character creation. Look at the things under the head. Complexion, dirt, dirt color, scars. The amount of detail that has gone to this character creation is amazing. War paint. There's so many things that you can make your character look like. And if you don't believe this, then look up... I believe the video is called Kyle Gas, the Ugly Oblivion character, which was from the old Elder Scrolls game, the last one, made in 2006. And that is an example of something you can make in Skyrim. And a bore Oblivion, whatever. You just make your character really fat, really short. It, it's honestly hilarious. Okay, so I, I decided to choose this war paint here because it doesn't it obstruct the eyes or face and it's just kind of out of the way and looks pretty cool. And looks like I'm done here. Just gonna name my character Prisoner. I wonder what that, that's the name they start you out with, Prisoner. Hey, hey, what's up, Prisoner? Anyway, I'm just gonna name my guy Brohan, of course. And that is that is the first first Skyrim playthrough. I'll upload this to YouTube now. Um, Please keep watching. I'll, help, I'll hopefully be able to upload more, especially on the weekend. So yes, S Gaming are out. In your homeland. What?